Silicone breast implants have been banned in this country since 1992, but now an advisory panel recommends a new version be allowed to return. KOLD News 13's J.D. Wall spoke to a plastic surgeon who supports the idea. J.D.? Well, Cochal silicone breast, breast implant ruptures sparked thousands of lawsuits, costing billions in settlements. But recently, Tucson surgeon Kian Samimi has been part of a study allowing some women to receive a newer design of the silicone implant. And he says the Food and Drug Administration should give it the stamp of approval. The silicone almost behaves like the old breast tissue. It, it falls, you know, it's fuller on the bottom, less full on the top. The saline, when it's filled, is just right there. It doesn't do that same thing. In the past few years, Dr. Kian Samimi has given silicone breast implants to 50 or 60 women, all part of a study by the Mentor Corporation on a new type of silicone implant. The new generation of silicone implants are considerably safer than the old generation. If this implant would actually be cut in half, the gel would stay in either half of the implant and actually not leak out of the implant. The very problem that prompted the FDA to ban silicone breast implants in 1992. Once the implant broke, silicone could inflame the breast tissue, even causing it to harden. As the new mentor implant moves to the FDA for approval, reactions among women are mixed. I have done well with no complications. I have never attempted suicide. I do not have fibromyalgia, lupus, scleroderma, rheumatoid arthritis. Since the implants, I've had muscle joint aches, severe chest pain, limited range of muscle motion. If there is scientific data that points against the silicone implants and it points to severe health side effects, then we should not offer these silicone implants, but that data is not there. Samimi says the new implants will still need to be watched closely and women will need to be informed about the risks of rupture and scarring, but they should have this option. It is an insult to most women to not allow them to choose. An advisory panel has recommended the FDA approve Mentor's new implant and not that of another company, Inamed. But the FDA will make its own decisions in the next several months at least. The panel also required the women to be checked regularly for ruptures with Mentor tracking how many happen in the next 10 years. Reporting live, J.D. Wallace, KOLD News 13. All right, thanks so much, J.D., for that report.